सुतरां केशवम द्रवम दीर्घ विष्णु जब विश्राम दो सप्ता पाप विष्णु जैसे आ भगवान का और केशव हारी केशव दर्शन किया द्रुपदी द्रुपदी का दर्शन किया अरे यह मुझे तो सब कुछ पास है मैं काम भी नहीं मानता हूँ मैं तो मैं तो तो वो ले सब ले जाने वाला है ले जाने वाला तू सब ले जाने Sitting in the temple of Bhuteshwar Mahadev. You can hear me. So, Prabhuji is telling us Bhuteshwar Mahadev. He is Sadashiv Vishnu actually. Sadashiv Vishnu Tattu. That's oh, okay. So, he is also Upadan. Upadan Karan means that uh, the cause of creation. For this cosmic manifestation, the five elements, five elements, earth, water. Air, fire, ether, like that, and all the other components, 26 together. So they are coming from Sadashiv Vishnu. So Sadashiv Vishnu, that is from Sankarshan Mahadev, also comes. So he is also called Bhuteshwar because Bhut means living entity. So Bhut Ishwar, he is the Ishwar of all Bhut. That means he is the Ishwar of all the living entities. So he is called Bhuteshwar. And uh, yeah, he also uh, has been assigned the duty of annihilating. So Vishnu he creates and Lord Shiva he annihilates. But we should understand this annihilation how it works, what is the actual process. He gave an example when a farmer he harvests a field and when the, all the crops they are matured so it's time for we should uh, cut all the grains which are matured if we don't do then then they will go become bad and they'll be ruined so to safeguard that or for the complete use of that uh, uh, agriculture or whatever they're growing they cut it at a proper time so this annihilation which Mahadev does is similar process. All the living entities which become perfect, so they go back home back to Godhead and the rest of them are again there in the seed form and they again in the cycle of birth and death and they wait on the evolution process so that they become elevated their consciousness. So this is taken care by Mahadev Ji, Puteshwar Mahadev. And is also present wherever Krishna's pastimes are present. All around Braja, we know in Nandigram also he is there in the form of Nandishwar Mahadev and he's protecting the abode from all demon-like persons who doesn't have the feeling of bhakti in their heart but they're having all material desires and they want to deserve Lord for their sense pleasure. So Mahadev Ji, he protects them to go to the Lord and he himself deals with them. And one name is also Ashutosh. It's called Ashutosh. Why it's called Ashutosh? Because it becomes pleased very easily, very quickly. If one worships him, then within few days he becomes pleased and he gives the boon, whatever he wants. But some of, sometimes he has to get in some big trouble when he gives some boons. And we know the stories of Mahishasur and others. So, Asmasur. So, but he does, the, he does that because he has full faith that he is protected by Krishna, his Ishwar. So he doesn't worry, so whatever anyone wants, he gives that. But he gives Krishna Prem to those devotees who come with this desire because he is himself, he has this greed in his heart for the wonderful pastimes of uh, Shishi Radha and Krishna. So he has it Prem in his heart and he can give that, us to, give that to us also. So we should pray here for his mercy and we may become qualified one day to, to witness and all those pastimes may manifest in our heart and we can also relish that place not for our sense pleasure because uh, when we use this word then Trikumara just in his lecture he said that I think most of us were there and he was very nicely pointing it out that we hear the glories of uh, Braja and then we say oh such a nice place I should go and see that place so I should go and see that place why because that's very nice and when I see it I'll be pleased so wherever this thing comes that I'll be pleased so there it goes. It's no more bhakti. It becomes bhog. So we should be very careful. Though it may be a devotional activity, as long as there is a tinge of uh, desire or tendency to enjoy for ourselves, then it's no more bhakti. And on the other hand, it may be just 
lifting a tulsi leaf from ground and putting it up but we do it for the pleasure of gurudev and krishna then it becomes bhakti it is pure from the very beginning it's not that gradually when we do it becomes pure it's pure it's pure from the very beginning the only point is that we should know the proper mood and consciousness in which we should execute this and then he said it's easy to hear but so difficult to do because we see that we have a natural inclination towards our sense objects so the only way we can get rid of it is that we come in the association of such people who have that frame in their heart so <clears throat> we are here now and bhuteshwar mahadev have that thing in his heart so we pray to him that he may also bestow some sprinkles we don't ask for much some sprinkles of his mercy and then that be very much for us and then we can also continue on this path with full faith sincerity and dedication and hopefully one day definitely we may enter in the realm for the pleasure of lord for his service gor pimanandi bhuteshwar mahadev ki